Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardat Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. Friendly faces seem hard to come by around here. Reasonable people are more valuable than air in a place like this. I can see you're trying to flatter me. Don't. Of, of course. Forgive me. You just made me nervous, is all. You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that, with your help, we can change Omega. What do you mean, we can change Omega? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merit's shop on the Citadel, and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package, and bring those packages to me. Good luck, my friends! Cedia towns. They're prettier. They value their lights. They don't have God off and neon everywhere, like Ilium or the Citadel. Just the light of people living, moving from place to place. Just enough to know people live there.
People come to places such as this seeking a better life. And when they get here, they find this. Violent people forced into destitution on a world filled with criminals. They deserve protection. If I survive my mission, I may return home. Again, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Sorry, fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. 
Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> my baby. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures. Everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. She's gone. And nothing will fix that. Why did this happen? She never hurt anybody. We need to look in your daughter's room. Nothing will be disturbed. Everything will be just as she left it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll examine her things. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Marth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Helix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then, the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creatives. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. And she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Hmm. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. 
I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup. I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Marinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone and falling under her sway. That will require careful timing. I will be near and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me as I trust and honor you. Okay. What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Warren sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Warren will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Tickets for Expel 10. I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this Asari digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You, you gotta help me. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago, talking about the band. 
She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Oh. Are you still here? Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. Slow down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moy Wall is doing a piece on Omega game. She's hanging with Florida. He's the worst of the worst. What is she doing? A bid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile game members. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florida's on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's claw. The last transmission said Florida's going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florida, my friend will get the message of get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order, please tell me what you can do that. She's going to die. Why can't you do it? I stare at monitors all day. I can't walk up and talk to a gang leader. I'd piss my pants and run away. I can't let one wall die. It's just saying two words in a sentence. You can do that, right? I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. Extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florid. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Bitch isn't coming back. I'm gonna find her. I don't talk to people. Are you sure this is where you want to be? Thank you so much. I really thought you were good. Lots of money on the cred hunting tonight. Get him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of our ears people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep people on our backs. Hey, what are you looking at? I want you gone from here. Hey, we gotta pay the man. We work for Hank. You hear that? So, you think this man? How about I give you enough creds for your boss, then you leave and stay gone. No one gets hurt. Works for me. Let's go. but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I can fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? You and I want the same things. Do we? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses, there's something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. 
They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Veyenya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. Have a Halix if you want, but wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win, just before you kill him. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times, but that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Don't count on it. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin! Mother. Do not call me that! I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gift you gave me! Enough, Moran! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. They are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. The line, Morinth, and they call me a monster. <laughs> Find P. 
peace in the embrace of the goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. Killed her for being what she was. And I would again. 
But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission? I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I've been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. But was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. I saw your bases years ago. You were using Rachni, Thorian Creepers, even Husks to make your own army. The Husks were already dead, the Thorian creatures were mindless, and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. We weren't breeding an army, we were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best genes money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. You're not coasting on good genes, Miranda. Your ability and your dedication speak for themselves. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate that. I should get back to work, but thank you for coming by.
Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Optimizing weapons charges, planning attack vectors, you know. Relax. I'm still trying to figure out how to prepare for this mission. Humans don't deal with stress the way Turians do. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. You know me, I'm always up for hitting things. And if it makes you feel better... <laughs> I'd rather not add my name to the list of people you've knocked on their asses. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. And don't worry about me. Whatever happens, I'll be there. Talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean, solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is... unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. Isn't that a rather personal memory to talk about? Forgive me. Lately I've spent a great deal of time reviewing my life. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is nearly flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah. Uh, that time. Uh, these are the on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes. Defiant in the scope. Hey. Bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid drill memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. I haven't had a chance to speak to a draw before. It's been fascinating. I doubt many humans have. There are only a few hundred thousand of us left, after all. I won't keep you.
Hey. What's happening? Shepard, we talked enough. You're just pissing around. No hard feelings, but I don't want to play. I should go. Whatever. No messages for you, Commander.